bolt. Each one has different modding capabilities, letting you do different things with mods. So like, you know, you can get different aspects of the game from Fabric as you can from Forge. We don't talk yeah. about the other ones like Neo yeah, Forge Clutus. and... I got you a gift. Uh, do not open it yet. Wait, wait, wait. Let me find it. Hit the button. Uh oh. Hit the button. Ah, I got you. There was nothing. Oh, oh my days. No. Ah, no, I'm just joking with you. They're blind over there! That, oh my god. I don't know if you remember, um, Simon from Clockwise, Tanko? Yeah, yeah. But I was watching one of his videos recently because I don't know why. Oh, um, that's kind of understandable. And in his video, he's just seen this pressure plate that does nothing, and he's gone, hmm, let's make it do something, puts TNT under it. <laughs> Someone t set it off. You weren't supposed to set it off. It wasn't meant for you. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> and um, Katie, um, you're going to need to go, you know the mod searcher? Yeah. You're gonna wanna look for essential. Is it like together Which? or separate? Like Just essential. What up? Something's installing. What you did you What did you what did you click? I Was it something with a blue icon? No, I clicked Forge, and it was like installing something. Oh, it's no, probably just I'm... installing Forge. Oh, I'm just gonna Kay. have to do I got you a gift again, Ecliptus. Okay. Oh, God. You ready for it? Click the button. Did you set it click up? The... No, click the button. Wait. Hey! Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Let me show you how this works. So, let's get, we need powered rail, we need TNT minecart, we need a button. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ignore that. So, with this system, all you need to do is just pull as many as you like. And and theoretically, you... Have you placed like a button on it? Oh, I'm just trying to remember. It's. Sh... Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, I think I need this here. You do that, and then you have a button. And then huh. when you click that, I placed a lot. Look at all that lava there. Why don't you share your screen, Katie? Huh? Why don't you share your screen? Okay. What up? Put down as many as we can. And this time, when we click <clears> the button, <throat> that, that was instant. Wow. That, that was pretty cool. Oh, look at this creeper down here. Revenge. Oh. Revenge. Go. Oh, wait. The fortress was. Oh, this is the. Yeah, there was one out front. There was one out front. You see it? Uh oh, yep, I see it. Uh, I mean, uh, oh, Hades, yeah. Okay. Create new profile. Just name it whatever you want. Like clips is hot. And then you go. You can choose forge. You can choose fabric, whichever one you like. Then you can just click create and give it a moment. It's just got to load all the forge stuff because you know you can't 
play the game of Forge without having Forge. Am I right? Well, that is quite true. So, what? I don't know. Oh, oh wait. Out of data. Wait, can you click the... The thing at the bottom left? The gear. The gear. The gear. Oh wait, no, it must be system storage. You should be able to click on settings and look at your storage for your for your computer lap whatever. Okay. I got a new gift. Huh. Ah, there it is. Yeah, you're completely using up every last bit of storage, memory, whatever you want to call ah, it. Ah, that'd be me too. Which means, which means you'd have to get rid of stuff that you don't use ever. Offloading. Like, like apps or... Like just yeah, different like stuff, apps, like apps like and files and all that. Let me just do this off screen. Alright. No worries. Um, uh, she doesn't want us knowing that she owns Pretty Pretty Princess AIO. Why everyone loves some Hello Kitty every once in a while? What is that? I don't know, but if he said, no, I don't own that, I would have gone, aha, uh -huh, so she does. Hey, clip this. I don't know how to delete. <laughs> Look behind you. Click uninstall. Oh my. Find the lever. Tank go. Find the lever. Tank go. Why? Find the lever. Button. No. Find the lever. Click the lever. Oh, and see, I've got to be it. So is there a combination? There's no way you could do a certain combination without me seeing. Ah, oh, well, you're right. Boom boom down. You just right click on an app when you click on That was a lot of TNT. Oh yeah, by the way, I took some advice from Katie and definitely didn't steal my MCT skin and my skin is changed to a more permanent form. Hey, it is a quite nice skin. What advice did I? Ah, uh, the mask. Oh yeah. I can blame you if I get COVID in Minecraft now. Bro, <laughs> you will not get COVID in Minecraft. You never know with the kind Why of. Why is this not letting me? Well... Why is this not letting me put this stuff in the bin? Did you bend fool? Uh, oh yeah, you have. One thing you can do is empty recycling bin, and that gets rid of anything, because anything in the recycling bin still counts as part of your storage. Believe me, I found out the hard way when recording one. Ugh. I know what you mean. Actually, Tanko, oh. I've been trying to do some modded series recently, and I've not been happy with any of them. How do you manage modded? Eh, well, it just depends on what kind of mods you're using. You want something exciting, but you don't want something that will you know, not give you good mind. When I mean good mind. Basically, when you are playing yeah. modded, you don't want something overly complicated. You want something that's enjoyable, but not, you know, over enjoyable that, you know, it just takes up so much time. I don't find stuff complicated. It's more either stuff like it lags my system, which hmm. I'm, which is why I'm that, trying that, to get that could be clashing of mods. Mod, oh, that is mods hard. sometimes clash, and to fix it, it, it's very complicated. But if you're not putting on enough RAM, your game will lag, and if you don't put in enough, you know, well. 
care into making sure the mods don't collide with each other, then they'll, you know, start to cause little frictions there and there and then cause you lag while you're playing the game. I have that with my Jump Paradise Golden Age, but you know, there's always a good way around it. Sometimes it's just upgrading PC and then sometimes it's just, you know, oh, I had that entire button there that I could have used the entire time. Also, come check this out over here. And also, a, a great, another great thing is uh, creating projects that you know you can actually finish and not ones that, you know, will take up too much time. Because if you're doing a build yeah, project, I tell you, you don't want it to become a slog. Start and finish. Yeah. That's why I have this little uh, green book in front of me. I, I draw down, like, build ideas in 3D and 2D, and oh. I'll put them into action, so like putting them together. And I will say, don't do an entire build project to write it, you know, away. You want to, you know, chop into little tiny bits so you don't get, you know, over, you know, burnout. Because you can get burnout from doing such a large build project. And that's how, what, that's what something Hermitcraft has done really well, is, like, they will make mega bases. Oh my god. They can make mega bases, but they will take, like, the whole season to do it. Like, yeah. they will even just stop sometimes to just, you know, do mini games or something like that. It's a combination wall. No. So you, if you click the right one, it turns on. Yeah, it's kind of a bit too close. The signal goes right through uh, wood. And now if you look inside, it was never a combination oh. wall. It was trickery. What a fun bit of trickery, it though. Oh. But, um, you know what a series that you should watch, I tell you? What should I watch? You should watch some Dallas Mad, I tell you. Yeah. He makes some great content, I tell you. Oh, wait. Wait, Katie. Oh, my God. I. Wait, how's the um, thing going? 